Texas. Joining us now is political strategist, CEO of Mason Borough Strategies, Victory News contributor Luke Ball. Luke, welcome. Greg, I want that concerned American to fill my slot next time and maybe be a vice presidential candidate for Donald Trump. All right, well, there you go. He might do it. <laughs> the uh, footage now, the footage that you're watching right now is a Jewish student at UCLA being chased down by pro Hamas students because he wandered into an area they don't allow Jews. Luke, Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen joined Newsmax to declare Americans had enough of these pro Hamas protesters and in action at universities. Here he is. MAGA supporters were domestic terrorists. And now you have individuals that are literally saying we are Hamas, which is a terrorist organization, and the DOJ, FBI, and the White House is silent on this. Are you kidding me? Luke, in your home state, the chancellor and police re-raised the American flag. The protesters returned and patriotic students circled around the flag to protect it. Why have we not heard from Joe Biden on these protests? And will voters remember this in November? You know, we should not be shocked that this is happening on our college campuses. We can be shocked at the fact that it exists, but not that it's happening because this is something that's been bubbling up for years. In the aftermath of the Hamas attacks on Israel, we saw professors across the nation saying they were exhilarated by the attacks on Israel, saying anti-Semitic things in classrooms, discriminating against Jewish students. And the fact is that this is something that's been happening on our college campuses for decades. 75% of professors in our universities and colleges today identify as progressive or liberal, and they view any sort of perceived oppression as something that needs to be overthrown. And if racism is the byproduct of that pursuit, then so be it. So when they sit in these college campuses, these students, and they listen to these professors, and these professors are injecting cultural Marxism and secular humanism into their minds, this outpouring of hatred should not be shocking to the rest of the nation. But the fact that there are people who are standing up on our college campuses and saying no more, we're not going to put up with this, is exhilarating to us. The fact is that if we have more people who stand up and speak out, then this hatred will go away from our college campuses. Okay, well, here's your cause to stand up and speak out about. According to internal government documents reviewed by CBS President Biden, is considering breaking Palestinians from Gaza into the United States as refugees. The reports say that he would fly, they would fly into the United States with refugee status, receive housing assistance, have a path towards citizenship. Biden's planning to do what no Arab country around Gaza is willing to do. Does this make sense in the days and times we're in right now? All while homeless veterans are out on the streets of our major cities and sitting there enduring drug abuse and being put out on the streets because the government will not help them, but they'll reach across the waters of the oceans in our world to try and bring over more people. And it is because Joe Biden's party is dragging him so far to the left that he is concerned about these progressive voters. They do not support Joe Biden right now. And so Joe Biden is having to kowtow to their racism. He is having to say, I'm going to go overseas and start doing this, this, and this, even though he is ignoring the racism happening on our college campuses and in this mentality that is prevalent among the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. He is doing this for votes, and he will continue to do it as long as his handlers push him in this direction, unless somebody with some common sense gets in the White House and stops him. Okay, speaking of that, we've talked all about Biden, but Trump vice president contenders are headed to Florida for a major donor retreat. You think we'll get an announcement soon about who's running mate, who that will be? I think that in due time, we're going to get the perfect candidate as Donald Trump's vice president. And whether it's this weekend or the next week, I think it's going to be someone who augments the support that Donald Trump has already enjoyed among the Americans.